Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a function index called treat as, which you can use it to filter values, which you can use it for creating virtual relationship between tables. In this video, I'm talking about basics of that function. Let's see how it is. best way to learn treat as is to use an example so here i have a data model uh, which you can download it from the link down in the description below to my blog article you can download the file from there i have a sales table customer table date table they are not related to each other now um uh, one thing to note uh, at the start is that uh, it is not recommended to leave tables like this without relationships i definitely recommend against it. I recommend to create relationship between tables. Relationships means filtering and everything in your model would be filtered that way. However, for this example, uh, intentionally I removed the relationship to show you how the treat as works. If I don't have a relationship and then I visualize something like this, English education from the customer table to be filtered by sales amount, which comes from fact table, you see the sales amount is not filtered by English education because there's no relationship. Now using treat as you can change that behavior. Here I have a I have a measure. Let me show you the expression for that measure. I have a measure and in this measure I am saying that calculate some of the sales amount. So far it is just calculate some of sales. But here I say treat as values of customer key from dim customer and then by customer key in the fact internet sales now let's talk about how the treat as works actually treat as is a function that gets uh, a few parameters treat as is a function that get takes a few parameters uh, here you can see the kind of signature of treat as it gets an expression and then column one column two column three the expression should be an expression that returns a table. It's a table expression. Uh, that is one of the reasons why you see values here, because the combination of these two returns a table. Values of the customer customer key, that means unique list of customer key. Uh, you might use other things like all, or you might use, let's say, select columns or anything else, right? Or distinct. Uh, the, diff the, val the result value would not be exactly the same, but... Uh, but any function that returns a table would be you would be able to be used here, right? That would be the expression. And then column one, column two, column three, and they should be in the same order that this table returns. Uh, so same order of columns here, same order of columns over there. Now, uh, we are talking about basics for now. Let's see what is the result of this expression. If I use this uh, in my table, you see that this gets filtered even though I don't have a relationship between these two tables. You see these two tables, they don't have any relationships, but this calculation works perfectly fine. Now, uh, how the treat as works, uh, you should read treat as like this. You should say treat this, the first parameter, as this, the second parameter. So you are saying that treat customer key from uh, team customer as the customer key in fact internet sales that means if this is filtered filter that one if we are looking at customer key one to three this should be also customer key one to three now because in our visual uh, in our visual english education is filtered as a result that filters customer key because english education and customer key they both are in the same team customer table that would filter customer key and because in treat as we said customer key of uh, team customer filters the customer key of fact internet sales treat this as that so as a result this will filter that it's like creating a virtual relationship between these two tables uh, and remember the reason i have used values is that this should return a table because if you just say this column by that column you will get an error that says uh, here we expect uh, a table expression, not a single column name. So you cannot just use column names like that. You can use it inside values. You can use it inside distinct. Uh, 
they both would be the same. You can even use things like, let's say, select columns uh, from dim customer. Uh, you can call this column X or whatever and return this and then use that. So all of these are possible options and they would all work perfectly fine. Uh, but for this example, values would be, let's say, one of the simplest way of using it, which is why I used it here, right? Uh, and it returns the result that I want. So without having the relationship, this created a way of filtering. There is another way to use treat as as well. Uh, you, because this is a table, you can replace this with a scalar table <coughs> uh, function, something like a table constructor. In another uh, blog article, I explained what a table constructor is. Let me show you here that as an example. So here I have another measure that inside that I use a treat as in this way. So my table is just like this. Inside these curly brackets, I have higher school. This is a table with one single row, one single column. It's a table constructor. These uh, curly brackets are table constructors. Uh, if you want more information about that, uh, look at the link down in the description below from my blog post, you'll find it. This is saying that consider this as that value. So basically it is saying that team customer English education should be filtered by higher school, right? And then give me count of rows for that. Right. You can use treat as like this. Another example of using treat as is role playing dimension. Let's say I have fact internet sales that I want sometimes to be filtered by order date, sometimes to be filtered by ship date. This is what we call role playing dimension in uh, BI scenarios. Uh, and you have two ways to create that. One way is to create a copy of your date table, one call it order date, one call it ship date, create active relationship. Another is to create one active and one inactive relationship and use use relationship. Uh, one other way is this, you can use treat as in this way. So here you can see that I used a couple of measures. This is for order date which is calculate sum of order quantity, but then treat as that uh, uh, date key as an order date key. The other one is saying that treat that as a ship date, date key. That is the only difference. As a result here, I have one by order date, one by ship date. These are quantity of orders, but their order date is in 2005, but this is those that their ship date is in 2005, right? That That's how you can uh, read this uh, visual. So without creating relationship, I use this approach to create relationships. Now, I'm not saying that this is uh, best practice to do it this way. This is because this would raise some ambiguity, like what is the relationship and things like that. You have to look at expression to understand it. But I use these examples to explain how treat as works. The main thing learning about treat as is that you should read it this way. Treat this as that. And your first parameter is a table. Now in the next uh, video, I'm going to talk about what if that table is multiple fields, because you can then relate to tables based on multiple fields, which is an interesting ca case of using treat as. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.